Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. I'm CuteDolphin954 and today I'll we'll be showing you guys how to apply an HDRI into your Roblox GFX. So, let's get started. Okay, so now I'm in Blender and I'm using Blender 2.83 like I said in the title. And I already posed my character, it's all done. And now I'm going to go over here to the Earth and I'm going to click Use Nodes. Then I'm going to go over here where it says Color and click that dot and go to Environment Texture. Then you're going to click Open. And you're gonna need an HDRI. So you're gonna go to Google or whatever you use and search up HDRI Haven. So HDRI Haven.com. Then go over here to HDRIs. And you can look for one. A really common one that everybody loves is Kiara or Kiara Dawn or something. This is the one. So you can download it and click the 4K one. And then you can get it and it'll be with you. So I already have it downloaded and I'm gonna open it. So I'm gonna go to my downloads and look for Kiara when done. Here it is, boom. It's gonna take a second and you're not gonna see it because you're still on texture mode. So go to material mode and you can kind of see how it looks on your character. And then if you go to rendered mode, you can see how it looks everywhere. So I'm gonna go to Eevee because it looks a bit weird. All right, so yeah. So now if you want different types of lighting, you can get your character and rotate it. Rotate where it is so you can get better angles. For example, here's a different different way of seeing the light, blah blah blah. So I like it like this I guess and I'm gonna spawn in the camera. And then I'll usually render, but before you render you wanna go to the camera settings, go to film, and make sure you click transparent so you're not gonna see the background unless you want that for some reason. Turn on ambient occlusion and then over here go to this, wait, not that, go here, click PNG, then go to RGBA. So now you're good to render, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So render image, and I'm on EV, like I said, boom. Then you can go ahead and save it, do whatever you want, editing, but yeah, that's how you apply an HDRI. Pretty simple, not too complicated at all, and yeah. See you in the next video. Make sure you're subscribed and liking my videos. It means a lot, so thank you very much for all the support recently. See you next time. Peace out.